Hello and welcome everyone to Let's Play Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation. So guys, 115 speaking. This is it, our final trek through the coastal ruins. More than anything, we are just on our way from Jean-Yves, the fourth wizard. Purely optional detour we took in order to trigger a unique conversation about what happened with Von Croy in the Lost Library of Alexandria. So, by now, you should have both Pharaoh's Pill and Pharaoh's Knot. Pharaoh's Knot can be found in the Hall of Demetrius, the Pharaoh's Pillar can be found in the Lost Library, which... Honestly, both levels should have been one level, let's not pretend. So in case you are missing any of these, you know, you can enter through the Temple of Poseidon entrance. I will show you on our way there. And of course, you by this point have the left gauntlet because only picking up the left gauntlet allows you to get into the Lost Library and Hall of Demetrius in the first place. The crowbar you of course have by default and broken glasses are a proof that you have found that one and only secret in coastal ruins accessible only from Hall of Demetrius. So. That's it for our status, now let's just reminisce about the Egyptian adventure exhibition, the pointless entranceway into the left which leads nowhere, and also this particularly annoying pool around the corner which pretty much just slows us down each and every goddamn time we want to, you know, trek across <laughs> the coastal ruins. It's funny, but you know, there's some satisfaction to be found knowing that we are not gonna be here again. Up until I realized to replay Tomb Raider 4 just for joy, you know, or maybe some it will be part of some extra life uh, charity marathon stream or something like that we'll see i'm actually considering doing an open lara first person playthrough of tomb raider 1 for next year's well actually this year's extra life we'll, we'll see <laughs> i always am trying to come up with some unique challenge anywho uh this is it we are now gonna enter the main hub area and as i said before you know uh, in case you are still missing either the Pharaoh's Pillar or the Pharaoh's Knot, your best bet is to enter, uh, no, not the catacombs uh, rear entrance to the left or the main one on the right, instead to enter the Temple of Poseidon over here. So this is its entrance, right? Now, since we have both of these items, oh, you can also access it from the roof if you remember, but since we have both of these items, all we have to do now is just go around the coastline and actually find the site of where According to Tomb Raider 4, the lighthouse of Alexandria was before an earthquake buried it. So yeah, this small tunnel over here, right? So this is what I've shown you during our first visit into the coastal ruins. Interestingly enough, the uh, temple, the level we are about to enter is actually called Pharos, the Temple of Isis. The two items are also called Pharos Pillar and Pharos Knot. Pharos was the name of the lighthouse of Alexandria. So why is it referred to as Temple of Isis in Tomb Raider 4 is truly beyond me, but you know, some of you might actually know, maybe the lighthouse was dedicated to the goddess Isis. No idea. So let me pause right here before the strong current will overtake us and show you the statistics screen. So, you know, we pretty much put the nail in the coffin in terms of finding everything for coastal ruins during our previous visit. But here, this is the last, uh, the last, the ninth visit. And by now we have found all 14 items, killed all 5 skeletons and found the one and only secret during our previous visit. So that's it and let me just quickly make a save here because I also want to, you know, give ourselves plenty of oxygen bar remaining because the beginning of the next level is going to involve some swimming. Air pocket is very nearby but you know, uh, your oxygen bar status actually carries over into the next level. So with those words let me save here. And I'll see you guys next time in Pharos, or what's left of it.